everyone this is divya hope you're all doing well so i've been on the lookout for a cold drop for my kid since like forever i wanted a cold drop which was not store bought i was not very uh, comfortable using you know the wicks cold drop on my kid and i was also not very comfortable using essential oils on my kid uh, since essential oils do tend to be potent and um, you know uh, uh, the the quantity specified by some of these cold rubs the essential oil is so small that you don't even know if it's working or not and so i was on the uh, hunt for a cold rub from a very very long time now and just last flu season i found this amazing recipe to make a very simple cold rub that is not only effective but which is super simple and super quick so let's quickly go ahead and see how to make this uh, now the first ingredient for the cold rub is garlic and i have about 8 to 10 cloves of garlic here uh, what you need to do is completely deskin it and use a mortar and pestle to mash it down uh, doing that will help uh, the garlic release all of its juice uh, which will take us to the next step now the next ingredient we need is coconut oil this is virgin coconut oil uh, this is just a brand that i use you can use any kind of coconut oil so we'll be using about 1/3 cup of coconut oil so we'll be heating it lightly on a double boiler and then putting the crushed garlic pieces into it so uh, this is how a double boiler looks so i have a container with some water at the bottom and then this is where i'll be taking the coconut oil the 1/3 cup of coconut oil or you can even take half of that quantity you can put that into this and then keep this on the gas on minimum heat from that secondary heat this top cup uh, gets heated up because of which the coconut oil will also get heated up this is to prevent the coconut oil from overheating so that is the reason we are using a double boiler method as the coconut oil is heated up we put the uh, crushed garlic into this and then allow it to stand for about half an hour this is to allow the coconut oil to get all of the acids um, and all of the flavor from the garlic so it's as simple as that uh with that the cold balm will be ready uh what you need to do is strain the garlic pieces out of the balm using probably a muslin cloth or fish it out using a spoon and then you can add in some kind of essential oil into it adding the essential oil is an optional step it will have a very prominent garlic smell and the essential oil is sort of to mask that smell and also provide some healing properties like like for example uh, the lavender oil will help calm uh, the baby it will help uh, soothe them for this quantity you can add about 10 drops of essential oil adding the essential oil give the entire mixture a stir and our cold balm is ready now for it to reach the balm consistency you will have to refrigerate it uh, for that you can empty it into these kind of containers so these kind of small containers or any kind of container that you have in hand this quantity that i specify to you will fill up two such containers and what you need to do is fill it up into these containers and then refrigerate the container uh this is the balm that i had made earlier and which was refrigerated so you can see that it is completely rock hard it is very very hard because i just pulled it out of the refrigerator this is the other balm that was lying outside uh you can see that this is not very hard and it has got more of a uh, balm like consistency now once it's done uh, for our indian tropical weather you have to refrigerate the uh, coconut oil otherwise it will melt so for you to get the balm kind of consistency it will have to be refrigerated and then once you want to use it on yourself or the kid what you need to do is pull it out of the fridge scoop a little heat it between your fingers and then apply it on yourself or the kid and it works wonders So what I did was I added a few pellets of beeswax. Now this is how beeswax looks. This is beeswax. These pellets are beeswax pellets. Uh, I uh, for this quantity I added about half a teaspoon of beeswax pellets. What I did was I put this on the double boiler, allowed it to melt, and then put in the uh, coconut oil which had the garlic soaking in it and which I had strained into this, and then added in the essential oil at the uh, uh, on top of this, gave it a stir, and then put it into the vessels to set. what this step does is it hardens the balm without having to put it in the refrigerator uh, so my balm is hard no matter uh, what the weather is outside because i have beeswax pellets in this of these two containers one is always refrigerated this has been refrigerated from day one but this however i have kept it on the shelf outside since all of this contain uh, 
garlic which is in its raw form they will go bad so it is always essential for you to uh, check it before using it on yourself or the kit so check for any funny smells or check for any kind of growth on top and if you do find something of that sort do throw it away because the balm cannot be used anymore but in case you don't want to take any such risks you can always keep it inside the refrigerator it out whenever you want to use it and then prop it back inside the fridge there is no harm in doing so all you need to do is just scoop it a little uh, rub it between your fingers and apply it on the temples on the nose on the throat on the chest the usual areas wherever we would apply a wicks balm to so this balm is completely uh, free of any kind of additives or chemicals and uh, it is very very safe on kids it can be even used on small babies uh, in case you want to use it on small babies maybe you can skip the essential oils or if you're not very comfortable with the very uh, strong garlic smell you can even reduce the garlic Uh, but this recipe is very safe and it can in fact even be used on adults i myself have used this multiple times during the flu season and it does help a lot with the congestion because garlic does have uh, decongestion and immunity boosting properties it is very effective uh, do try it out and leave your uh, feedback in the comments below i would love to hear from you thanks bye